We started iFi to try to build the uh, usage and utilization of artificial intelligence in uh, medical applications. And for the cancer center, that typically means uh, cancer research. And that could be anything from detecting cancer and imaging or um, trying to determine risk of developing cancer from uh, risk factors. And our biggest projects have to do with understanding uh, the risk of, of cancer here in Hawaii that may be unique because of our unique populations here. Reducing the burden of cancer is our, our mission. So we uh, have access to uh, large data sets of uh, people that have developed cancer and we also have uh, screening exams of uh, those that have gone through screenings that didn't develop cancer. So we, we want to see who developed cancer and who did not. There's no indication on the metadata for the image if the lesion is even in the image. We just know who it belongs to. So I have but to the true experts in developing artificial intelligence models would be our computer science department at the University of Hawaii Manoa. At iFi, I am a graduate research assistant and I work in artificial intelligence for medical imaging, specifically in breast ultrasound. And the project that I'm on here is to increase access to breast cancer screening in the broader US API in areas where we don't have screening mammography. And we're gonna do this using breast ultrasound combined with artificial intelligence. Our data come from the Hawaii Pacific Islands Mammography Registry, and this captures all of the medical imaging for women who come in for breast cancer screening in Hawaii. And we get imaging data from that, which really helps us to advance our research and make these tools that are going to improve accessibility in areas where they don't have access to the resources that we have in Hawaii. For the most part, you can think of the uh, faculty and professors like me uh, trying to identify problems that are not only interesting to solve, but that are solvable with the data that we have. These aren't easy problems. They take a long time to solve and a lot of data. These are our two main um, artificial intelligence computers. This One of our larger data sets right now contains over 150,000 women uh, in Hawaii, and it has over 45 million images in that data set. And that sounds like a lot, but it's about the right size to solve the kind of problems we're solving with artificial intelligence.